Chicago Bulls fans, we have been waiting for this moment for a long time. For a long time, we didn't know the direction of this team. We didn't know the future of this team. We didn't know who will be the head coach of the Chicago Bulls. After a long process, after many interviews, after narrowing it down to a T, it looks like we have our answer. And the answer is Billy Donovan. Let's get started on this video right now. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got a Chicago Bulls update video as we've acquired a new head coach it looks like and it looks like his name is Billy Donovan. What do you guys think about that? But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. I think I've done this pretty fast. I mean, I just got done finishing another video. And of course, the big bad Woj himself, Mr. Steal Your Girl himself, has decided to post on Twitter that it's official. The Chicago Bulls have hired Billy Donovan as the head coach of the Chicago Bulls. What do you guys think? Really, this is a big, big news day for Chicago, it looks like. And it's funnily enough, it's 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 the head coach. It is the head coach. It's what we've all wanted to know for a long time. We all know the draft got delayed, but the head coach was clearly going to come first. And it looks like Billy Donovan is the one, the hype dream that a lot of people really wanted to happen, but people didn't believe because they no one necessarily wanted to believe that Billy Donovan would step down from an OKC side to a Chicago Bulls team. That's what people honestly believed, but it's happened. And we've proven once again that it looks like this 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 is a great decision. I, I mean, in my video where I talked about Billy Donovan and I said, would I take Billy Donovan for the Chicago Bulls? I said, yes, of course there are risks to his game. Of course there are risks because there, it's only been one really good solid year from him and the rest came with Russell Westbrook and he wasn't that great of a coach back then. But obviously now, Times have changed. We are looking for a head coach that can develop every single player on the team. And I think Billy Donovan is one of the best candidates for that. Yes, it sucks that it's not Kenny Atkinson. I feel like a lot of people wanted Kenny Atkinson as the head coach of the Chicago Bulls. Yes, it sucks. It's not the likes of a, of a, of a Tyron Lue, Wes Unsell, and, and everybody else. It, it, it sucks that it's it's not one of these play. It's not one of these coaches. But at the end of the day, did the Chicago Bulls make the, the right decision in my eyes? It, to be honest... It, it could have been done in a later time because I, I think Billy, Billy Donovan basically only a few days ago just left OKC and automatically he becomes the head coach of the Chicago Bulls. I think that's the only negative I can say because maybe we didn't take enough time to assess him. But obviously, the Chicago Bulls rated him from the very beginning. He was, as soon as he got left, uh, he left the OKC Thunder. He was the favorite for the Chicago Bulls to sign, according to betting odds. He was the favorite. Just like that, only a day later, and he's the favorite. And now, a week or so, he's signed for the Chicago Bulls. And he is our head coach. And I think it is a good decision. He has helped the likes of uh, Shea Gilchrist Alexander. He's helped the likes of Delino Gallinari. He's helped the likes of a Dennis Schroeder. Yes, he had Chris Paul with him as well. He had Steven Adams. He had a team that wasn't supposed to make the playoffs. Remember this, guy. A 0.2% chance to make the playoffs. And this coach with that team ended up becoming the fifth seed. Yes, they lost to game seven to the Rockets. And honestly, they probably shouldn't have lost that, that series, in my opinion. They shouldn't have lost it, but they did. But realistically, this is the head coach I believe that will help us take the next step. He's not Jim Boylan. I think that's what we can all be happy about. He's not Jim Boylan. Jim Boylan really sucked the life out of this team offensively. I don't see that happening with Billy Donovan. I see us being really, really good team basketball, and that's what Arturius wants. We want playmakers. We want to move the ball. We want everybody to get involved. Billy Donovan can do that for us. Billy Donovan is a very good coach that that focuses on progression of players that makes players better the, literally he ticks all the boxes for the chicago bulls tick player development tick team movement tick playmaking he's his team was was good defensively as well so 
He is, in my opinion, a great signing. He might not be my number one choice. He wasn't even my number two choice. But that doesn't mean that he was not good enough for this for this side. And he wasn't good enough for this team. And I do think he, he brings a lot of mixed bags. And when I made that video, a lot of people didn't want him. And a lot of people did want him. It was literally a divide of opinion. But we have that answer now. Will people that don't like Billy Donovan respect him now because he is our head coach? There are a lot of uh, people that have the mentality of... Whoever comes in will support. And that's where I am at the moment. I'm going to support Billy Donovan whether I wanted him to be here or not. And I do want him to be here. I'm going to support him now. He's the head coach. He It's something different. It's something unique. Yes, um, I feel like there are people that won't like this because they want new fresh blood in. They want assistant coaches. A lot of people, they, that's what they want. And, and I'm not going to say that they're wrong for wanting that. Of course, fresh blood. I mean, look at Steve Nash. Steve Nash goes to the Brooklyn Nets. And people are excited about that because it's fresh blood. It's a young, it's it's a young coach, but a very experienced player, very close to that team. And I think that will make them better. I think Billy Donovan makes us better. He's a team coach, and um, he's team oriented. It's not a star player. It, it, we we have a bunch of players that can be good. Zach Levine is clearly our best player, but I don't think he is the star player. I think if we can add everybody around him, that's going to elevate everybody, including Zach Levine. I really like this. I really do like this. So, with that being said, what can he bring to Chicago? I, I, I mentioned it a little bit. Yes, he's team oriented, but I, I do like the way that he plays a lot. He, I think he switches a lot on defense. I think defensively, he's a very good coach, and I think we're going to get structure. And I, maybe that's something that we've lacked a little bit, a lot of structure, a lot of set plays. And um, we will play extremely fast as well. A lot of pick and rolls. We, we will see a very good offensive display from Billy Donovan's sides. And um, it shows. I mean, look at just all I have to say is that look at the OKC Thunder. Look how far they went with Billy Donovan as the coach. And Chris Paul, obviously Chris Paul gave very high praise for him. There's clearly something in this. And I do think a new challenge for Billy Donovan is probably what was needed for him. Mutually agree, agreed to part ways with OKC Thunder. Let's not remember, let's not forget, he wasn't sacked. He was not sacked. Billy Donovan was not sacked. He actually left the OKC Thunder to go and get a new challenge. And now this challenge is the Chicago Bulls. He's moved to the East. He's looking for an up and coming team. The Chicago Bulls are that team. Chicago Bulls are very, very close to the playoffs. Can we get there now with an, with an improved coach, hopefully improved players from this coach, we, we, we hope to see that he can get the best out of Larry Markton, who's regressed. We hope we can get the best out of Kobe White, who um, I think will thrive under this new management and new head coach. Hopefully we can get the best out of our bench because I do think the bench is very important for a coach like Billy Donovan. We need to have the bench production at a high level. That's the only way that this is going to work, really, if we have a high producing bench. If we get that, then I don't see the reason. I don't see an issue with this. I really don't. Again, he's not my first choice. He never was my first choice. A lot of people consider this a hype dream. Too good to be true. But it's happened now. It's here. Woj has said it. It's true. Woj doesn't... Uh, when was the last time Woj got anything wrong? So, look. It, it, it's here. This is it. This is the time. And, um... That, that question, that long waiting question of who's going to be running this team, who's going to be the new head coach, it's all over now. We have our answer. And that is the most exciting part because now we can build beyond that. Now we can look at the draft on November 18th and we know the head coach. We know the style of play. We could see something different and unique, but we know the direction we're going in now. And it's time to turn our face to the draft and then it's time to turn our face to free agency. And let's see if we can make a splash, make an impact make this team better than what it already is this team is a 9 to 10 seed right now in my opinion with the potential to be in the playoffs and i don't think anyone would disagree with me there but if we can get the right pick if we get a denny i think denny would be perfect with billy donovan i'm not gonna lie so I, I, that's gonna be interesting to see if that's the direction we go with but if we get a player like a Denny or even an Opie Top and LaMelo Ball, whoever we get, if we get the right fourth pick and we choose the correct player that comes into this team, that makes the impact that we need, that makes us overall better and adds depth as well as a very good starting lineup, then we're going to progress. If we go into free agency, 
we don't necessarily need to sign the big bucks players. We don't need to sign max contract players. I mean, it'd be nice, but we don't need that. If we could get a couple of players cheap, if we could get a couple of players that are looking to come to this team and come to a rebuilding team or come to a team with a future, then this is the place to make us better, to come off the bench. A, a player like Thaddeus Young, for example, that comes in with veteran leadership that is still capable at his age and contribute at a high level. We have a lot of things to look forward to right now. Everything's positive with the Chicago Bulls. We're heading into a fantastic direction and I can't be more happier with this selection. I really can't. It's, it's been answered now. Billy Donovan, the head coach of the Chicago Bulls. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready to roll, man. I'm ready to roll. I wish, I wish that this season would start in October like it should be, like it should be. But we're still gonna have to wait, man. We still got a lot of things to look forward to. So here we go, boys. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the answer. We've got our answer. What do you guys think in the comments below? Feel free. Look, people are not going to like this. I want you to talk about why you don't like Billy Donovan as the head coach. I want you to talk about your emotions. At the end of the day, just because I'm happy with this doesn't mean that you have to be happy with this. Doesn't mean that a lot of Bulls fans don't have to be happy with this. But... Just because I am, I, I'm not trying to say that your opinion is wrong. I want, I want to understand it. I want to, I want you guys to leave your comments in below. If you, if you like Billy Donovan or you don't, I want to know why, and I want to understand where Bulls fans are coming from. I want to understand the logic of some Bulls fans. And in the end, I think this is great, but you might disagree. So again, please leave your comments below if you have anything to say. If you have anything to say outside of the Chicago Bulls head coach as well, maybe if you're thinking about the draft now with this head coach, like I did with, I think Danny would be the absolute perfect choice for um, for Billy Donovan. So we, we have that, we have all these questions now that new questions that come out with one answer. And I'm very excited. Please, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Take care.